Well, hello, fellow people. I just wanted to come back and revisit this real quick because I found the video that I was referring to as far as the psychiatry industry um, confessing that they don't have no cures or tests to tell people that they're bipolar or they have this disorder or that disorder or they're mentally whatever is going on. Everything is just a bunch of malarkey. I did good because I was going to say something else. <laughs> But this is the story where I tell you guys, there is no such thing as a mental illness. It's all demon possession. They're very subtle how they behave in you. But there is no mental illness going on. It's all demon possession. And in case you guys don't believe me, like I said, I found the clip. I'm surprised it's still up. I also gave it a thumbs up because I was glad it was still circulating. But here we go. Check it out. No science, no cures, but they're busy feeding you prescriptions of drugs that are highly addictive, highly psychotic, that will make you lose your mind, help those demons enter into you. Let's just listen. Psychiatry in all of, uh, all of this time doesn't have one case report of one disease validated, not one. What they do is they meet at the American uh, Psychiatric Association, they meet in the DSM committee, Diagnostic Statistical Manual Committee, and they vote on making new behavioral and, and emotional disorders. They vote on it. It's like they flip a coin and they say, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Y'all have really got to wake up. And they vote, and then they start immediately calling them diseases. And they tell people, they tell the public these are diseases. Total fraud. Total fraud. The actual truth about chemical balance is that it's an actual lie. Nobody has yet measured, demonstrated, or created a test to show that somebody has a chemical imbalance in their brain. Period. What the American public... He, he said it. Under no... There's no mystery. It, it, literally. He, he just said it. There's more. I, I get excited because I can't believe that this is still up. But y'all really fall for... Y'all fall for anything. When I was hearing about kids... Uh, hyperactive children... Being put on medication to make them more docile and settle down. You know what we did for hyperactive children? We redirected that energy. We'd make them run up and down that hill about 25 times until they wore themselves out. Guess what? They slept, they ate, they were balanced, they did their homework, they could sit in class without any problem. It's like a, a, a working dog. You got to exhaust them before they'll go to sleep at night and be in balance. You can't let a, let a working dog just sit around and do nothing all day. You got to walk it. You got to exercise it. You really got to act like a chow. You can't have that dog in the house just sitting around. That's a working dog. You got to make sure that dog gets its exercise and works things off. I mean, y'all fall for anything. Public should be thinking about is when they or their loved ones or their friends have received a psychiatric diagnosis, they should be asking the dog, geez, dog, where's the, where's the chemical test for that? Where is the objective test for this? That's stupid. Mathematics disorder? Caffeine disorder? Oh, come on now. I can't believe people are actually saying they're sending their kid to get some mental assistance and they can tell you that your kid got a, has a mathematics <laughs> disorder. <laughs> Ooh wee, y'all just can't be this stupid. And I guarantee you that they'll be told, uh, we don't have a chemical test for that. There are no biological tests for any mental illnesses that I'm aware of. There are not uh, current available tests uh, to verify your diagnosis. There is no test. There is no specific test to differentiate between, let's say, schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Not a single test. Yeah, we have no, not really uh, confirma confirmatory test for the diagnosis. There is no test, there's no biopsy you can do 
that says um, this person is depressed, this person is bipolar. We don't have anything really currently to identify uh, mental illness per se. No, there are no specific tests to confirm the diagnosis or show the improvement like any blood tests or any x-rays or anything like that. Oh, in my practice I don't do any tests. I just speak with people and uh, listen to them and then I make a decision in what kind of illness so there should be. Uh, we don't have, we don't really have any specific blood tests or other tests that are definitive for any mental illness whatsoever. Um, what kind of um, biological tests do we have available today for detecting mental illnesses? None. <laughs> there is no rational science behind what they think is the cause of these symptoms. The medications that are being given to people are, without exception, introducing chemicals that are altering the brain in ways which can be very damaging. And I'll go a step further and say that in the absence of a proven chemical imbalance for which the medications are, quote, rebalancing or fixing, the medications are in fact toxic. There you have it. There you have it. There is no mental anything. It's the drugs you put into your body that's making you nuts. And then the demons get to creep in after that, because that's all that is. Sorcery, witchcraft, malarkey. How many patients have you been able to cure so far? <laughs> I would say... I love how she laughs. It's not funny. You're making so much money off of people who don't know any better. And she's laughing about this. The question was, have you cured anybody? Nope. Watch her. <laughs> How many people have I cured? Well, uh, there are no real cures right now in psychiatry. <laughs> Their response is all the same, because they know it's malarkey. Stop giving your money to these people. What you need is God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> idea of any, uh, you asked me about the issue about how many people I've cured. I don't know that any of us are ever completely cured of anything. I have not been able to cure many patients. I have cured none of my patients. And there it is. It's a money game. That's all it's ever been. That's all medicine has ever been. It's about money. It's not about curing you. It's not about making you whole or healthy or mentally balanced. It's about money. And this was recorded in 26, uh, 2006, it said. 2006, and that's 69 mil billion that they've been paying out. That was 2006, it's 2022 now. You can imagine that's in the trillions now. And those psychological drugs create heart attacks and sudden death, going all the way back to medical malpractice being the number third killer amongst all Americans, always has been. So you ask to ask the classic Roman question, legal question, cui bono, who benefits? Cui bono, who benefits? The people who make the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. There you have it. So no, there are no demons. I mean, there are no uh, mental illnesses, only demons. Only demons. Wake up, y'all. <laughs>